Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. He clicked on to long-range weather forecast discussion from February 12th through 26th. The pattern starts out off like this. We have a ridge in the over the eastern Pacific and to the west, trough here in the east, and we have above Noma Heights here over the North Atlantic. But eventually this pattern is going to shift. And um, this will cause temperatures to be above normal in the west, below normal temperatures beginning in the east. The trough crossing with the east and with low pressure expected to develop off the east coast around uh, Sunday night, Sunday, we'll um, have to see what its impacts will be and we'll take a look at that. Um, okay, we'll go take a look at that now. Okay, we will have colder air that will be moving into the northeast here with this clipper system and this will bring snow to um, parts of upstate New York and Great Lakes region. And then we have a low expected to develop offshore. Now here, here's our low. This is Sunday, 1 p.m. We have a low off the middle of the coast. There is some snow occurring here. This is GFS. And we look at the other models at the same time. Uh, the precipitation offshore, this is the European ensembles. And then we look at the European deterministics all have it offshore, perhaps with just some precipitation down, uh, parts of the Carolinas, Virginia, and the Demarva area, maybe even southern New Jersey. So the GFS, again, remains to be the main uh, system bringing snow to the region. Now, this could be anywhere from in part, uh, parts north, like northern New Jersey to New England. It, it remains to be seen whether we get a little bit of snow or it could be significant snow. But um, this is the only model that's showing this right now. Um, in the west, we will have a frontal boundary that will move into the west early next week. You can see the precipitation there, and this will cause rain and mountain snows, the highest amounts across the northwest into the northern Rockies. Oops, we'll have to the GFS. Okay, um, going to look at the period now for February 17th to 21st. And um, the region over the, uh, we have a ridge over the East Pacific, trough in the west. As you go through this period, you start seeing um, we have a negative, uh, positive tilted trough here. And we have more of a zone of flow, southwest flow here in the east. Here's our ridge. Here's our trough configuration here. So for this forecast period, I'm calling for, let me get to the map, above normal temperatures for much of this region here. And I'm calling for anomalies of 4 to 8 degrees above normal, below normal temperatures here, with anomalies of 2 to 4 degrees below normal. And for precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation for this area here, probability of occurrence 35 to 45 percent. And then we have above normal precipitation here. And for this region, probability of occurrence is 35 to 40 percent. Looking ahead now for the period for uh, February 26th to 28th. Uh, 22nd to the 28th. This is what we're having here. We have our ridge here, meaning over the East Pacific. And we have a nearly zone of flow across much of the country. See right here, this shows it better, the uh, GEFS. Maybe to some extent the uh, European ensembles. So for this forecast period, I'm calling for is above normal temperatures for much of this region here. And I'm calling for anomalies of 4 to 8 degrees above normal, below normal temperatures forecast again for this region, with the anomalies of 2 to 4 degrees below normal. And for precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation from the West Coast into um, the Rockies, the Central Rockies. Probability of current is 35 to 40%. It might be a little bit higher by tomorrow. And we have above normal precipitation generally west of the Mississippi River. Probability of occurrence is 35 to 40%.
So that's the long range weather forecast discussion for February 12th to 26th. Thanks for coming to Among These World of Weather and have a good day.